Can I have your attention, please? Sorry for the interruption. It's time to practice a lockdown drill. In the past four years, I have learned more ways to outrun a gunman than ways to solve a trigonometric function. Stay alert, evacuate, run in a zigzag line. At least your last steps will be on your way to safety, right? In the past four years, I have texted my parents, I am safe twice from the back of a dark classroom while a boy in the corner prays in form, but do not call your parents. We can't have your last voicemails hinder the police business. In the past four years, I have started looking at desks as door jams and textbooks as bulletproof vests, and I wonder when our teachers decided telling us chasing down a shooter was more important than chasing the goals of our future. Counter, throw, attack, Swarm, because bringing a stapler to a gunfight always ended with roses and smiles, right? Is your right to bear arms more important than the empty arms of mothers and fathers whose sons and daughters never came home? Because I will infringe upon every constitutional amendment until the president stops believing that thoughts and prayers can mend the hearts of victims of school shooters because their hearts stop beating in a classroom when some of them weren't even old enough to read. They didn't have time to fall in love or fall apart or party hard or get drunk or dance in the rain or skinny dip in the lakes because their heart stopped beating before anyone could say. Silence. Hiding under desks. Hidden in bathroom stalls. Sitting ducks. Silence. Sometimes humanity confuses me because we are able to paint art with the tails of horses and make songs that tickle your mind like the way it feels when lips touch yours for the very first time. But those same hands made bombs that vaporize cities and those same lips yield battle cries through blood spattered trees. The same metal that's wrapped around your finger and studded with a diamond can rip through skin in the right machine. My mom always said we hang in a place of balance. There is dark and light and gray and lavender and I always imagined a perfectly balanced scale, but it's starting to feel more like a balancing act. We are hanging our students on a tightrope a thousand miles up and there is a man dressed in black hoping that they will screw up. Shh. Don't whisper too loud. Don't let him hear you. Don't talk to your friends. Don't cry. Be quiet. Be silent. Be. So maybe we rewrite our loss or march down the streets or tell our children their life is more important than loose bullets and triggers, but trigger warning. No matter what we do now, there are already hundreds of kids buried underground. Trigger warning, an AK-47 isn't an accident. And 47 multiplied by four years since 2018 equals 95 school shootings. Trigger warning, troubled teen isn't an excuse. It's a weak synonym for killer, synonym for murder. Trigger warning, there is a trigger warning when you walk into every public school in America. Do I have your attention? I will not apologize for the interruption. This is not a drill.